Welcome to the first ever run of Prisoner of Her Past based on Howard Reich's incomparably moving story of his search on behalf of his mother. It pieces together the traumatic uh, journey of Sonia Reich, who as an 11-year-old uh, girl uh, eluded the death squads that uh, uh, hunted her down in the dark reign of, of uh, the Nazis in World War II. I think she's hyper aware and hyper vigilant and I think nothing else, nothing that I could write either in the paper or in the book could really capture what she's like when you see her on the screen. Your mother wanted to spare you and your sister the knowledge of what she had gone through and also didn't want to relive it herself and yet was reliving it every day of her life. It's not that it goes away. The rest of the film is really to help people get their story out. And that with people who are being traumatized today, particularly children, we they pretty much know that it is incredibly important to get their story out before it solidifies in the way that it does in Sony. And really what we see going on in New Orleans, we hope will help people in other situations where children are being traumatized. I have a suitcase ready every day and it's packed up at home. And I feel like for the rest of my life, I'm gonna have a suitcase on the side of my bed so that whenever something happens, whether it be a flood or a or fire, I'm gonna have a suitcase. That is exactly what my mom does to this day. She's got her big bag packed with toothpaste, soap, clothes, everything ready to go 60 years later. A lot of what we're trying to help people understand is it's not a film about the Holocaust. It's a film about untreated childhood trauma. And that lives now. And so we're really trying to use the film as a call to action. We haven't heard these, these traumatic stories yet. And watching this movie makes me realize that we're in this cycle, this vicious cycle. <laughs>